Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to introduce you to a fantastic free annotation tool that can make your presentations more engaging and interactive. It's called Zoomit. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I am going to show you how to use it. So let's get started. Zoomit is a free tool developed by Microsoft that allows you to zoom in and out of your screen, annotate on your screen, and draw on your presentation. This tool is perfect for anyone who wants to make their presentations more engaging, whether you are a teacher, student, or business professional. To start using Zoomit first, you need to download it from the Microsoft website. Alternatively, you can download it directly from the Sysintinals website. Type live.sysintern.als.com in your browser. Here, you'll find all the Sysinternal tools made by Mark Resinovich. Once you have downloaded it, you can run the tool by double-clicking on the executable file. After you accept the usage agreement, the main window of the application will be displayed. Each tab contains the settings for one major function of the application. On the first tab, you can change the hotkey and the zoom factor for the zoom tool. I never actually used the live zoom command. You can set the settings for drawing and typing here. The application can also display a timer. Zoomit recently added the ability to record the screen. This is very useful. I will show you how it works in a moment. Zoomit is now available in the Windows tray bar. Now I am going to show you how to use Zoomit to enhance your presentation. To zoom in on a particular part of your presentation, press Ctrl plus 1 on your keyboard. This will activate the zoom tool, allowing you to zoom in and out of your presentation. Use your mouse to move the zoomed in area around the screen. Left click to start drawing while in zoom mode. Press the right mouse button to stop drawing. Now let's have a closer look at advanced tools in drawing mode. To switch to drawing mode, press Ctrl plus 2. Now hold the left mouse button down and start drawing. To increase or decrease the cursor size, hold Ctrl scroll up or down using the middle mouse button. To change the color to red press R, for green press G. Zoom it supports many colors. Hold down the shift key to draw straight lines. Hold down control to draw a rectangle. Hold down the tab key to draw an ellipse. Don't worry much about the many hotkeys, you can find them all on the Zoom it website. To draw an arrow, hold down Ctrl and Shift. To undo an action, press Ctrl plus Z. To erase all drawings, press E on your keyboard. You now know the most important acceleration keys, but that's not all Zoomit has to offer. Zoomit has other tools that you can use to make your presentation more engaging and interactive for your audience. Press W to open the whiteboard. A whiteboard is a tool used for visual brainstorming, presentations, and collaboration. To use a whiteboard, start by selecting a surface to write on, such as a physical whiteboard or a digital one. Press Escape to exit. Recently, Zoomit has been extended with a screen recording tool. To start capturing your screen, press Ctrl plus 5. Zoomit starts recording immediately. Notice the yellow frame around the screen while recording. During the recording, an MP4 file is created in the temporary folder. To stop recording, press Ctrl plus 5 again. A save dialog is displayed. Rename the file if you wish, then press save. The recorded video file is saved to video by default. When you play it back, you will notice that the quality of the video recording is quite good. Not bad. Well done, Mark. Overall, Zoomit is a fantastic free annotation tool that can make your presentations more engaging and interactive. It's easy to use and offers a range of features that can help you highlight specific points on your presentation and quickly record your screen. I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.